Today, we're taking a look at using Electro Dragons at Town Hall 14. Now, I'd like to pair Electro Dragons with a Blizzard opener. Make sure you hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and of course, use code CWC before you buy anything in-game. If you wanna learn how to use this attack strategy, make sure you watch this video till the end, because at the end, I'm gonna be doing a war attack, and I'm gonna be giving you different tips and hints throughout every single one of these replays. Now, when it comes down to this opener here, we're looking for some big time value with that Blizzard. Right here, we've got we got the opportunity to grab not only the town hall but a scatter shot as well man that is some value that i will try and go for every single time after that you got to look at what you have left where's your remaining sweeper pointing this direction all right do we have any other sweepers i don't see any man there's certainly none covering this section over here we got a lot of meat to the base over here so if we just funnel this maybe a tiny bit more there we go. We'll use an E-Dragon out here to complete the funnel because he's he's not going to be pulling this Hound over in the way. Then we'll drop the rest of our Electro Dragons over here for this main push, main portion of the attack. Now, one of the keys to this is not putting your heroes down too soon. Look at this. I got my Electro Dragons first, down first, and then I drop my heroes over off to the side. The reason I do that is going to become very apparent by the end of this attack. In fact, it's one of the keys to this attack. First of all, they're cutting in the funnel, pushing the Electro Dragons further into the core the base which is amazing but so far our electro dragons really haven't run into anything too heavy so we haven't used our rage yet or we actually have two rages we can use we haven't used our grand warden ability yet although i'll probably look to use those as they're coming into this damage here in the core we got air defense oh my god Corey, use your grand warden ability before it's too late man what are you even doing i was i was obviously sleeping on my grand warden on this attack i finally pop it for like no effect uh so how are we even still going to have a chance on this man I could have had a big fat group of E-Dragons alive in the core of this base if I just would have played that a little bit smarter. I think I was distracted by the Royal Champion. Look at this, dude. Now, we still got a Rage left. We don't have that many E-Dragons, so we go ahead and drop the Rage on the Royal Champion, all right? Not the way you normally want to run this attack, but hey, sometimes you have to improvise. So, we got the Rage down on the RC. We've used our last freeze. Now, look at this. Remember how I said the reason you drop the heroes that way becomes apparent at the end of the attack? Look at our Queen. She has still got full health, and she has not used her ability yet, all right? When you play your heroes the right way, they not only funnel and help throughout the attack, but you're going to end the attack with a queen who has full health and an ability still left to use. So when you got three stubborn defenses remaining, your last E-Dragons have either gotten distracted by trash buildings or gone down, you got that queen ability you can pop to secure that triple, and it's going to be one of the keys to tripling with this attack. All right, guys, next base. First step is to look for some good Blizzard value. Now, I'm seeing the Town Hall over here. We got a Scatter Shot. We got a Multi Target Inferno. We got the Queen over here with an Air Defense. We got a lot of stuff we can get. In fact, if we drop it right here, we can get everything in there except for this Scatter Shot. So let's see how I end up playing this. Boom, just like that. We're going to try and pop that thing right in this gap. There we go. Here we go with the Invisibility Spell, the Rage. Now, let's see what kind of value we can pull off out of this. We really want to get that town hall and i'd like to really grab that multi-target inferno as well but unfortunately so far i keep making that thing invisible that's so that the wizards will target the town hall first it's more important than the multi-target inferno but there we go we've got our value now we got to look at remaining sweepers all right we got a sweeper pointing this direction we got a scatter shot eagle another scatter shot over here so we got a lot of meat at the base right here that we can really take out with these electro dragons we'll drop a couple out on the edges there that way we can get our funnel for the rest of the e-dragons coming in of course we're going to send the loons right in front of them now we're going to look to play some rages and that grand warden ability nice and early because we're facing off with not only an air defense but also a scatter shot on this entry here we go man let's get that first rage in we're actually going to freeze it first there that'll allow us to save that grand warden ability a little bit longer and we've dropped the heroes off to the side we've wall broken the king in that's going to continue making those electro dragons push in towards that backside scatter shot we still got a grand warden ability to use on this let's use it before that scatter shot takes out the rest of these electro dragons there we go we've got it played we still got another rage we can use to get through this scatter shot let's get that next rage down there we go. We got the rage. The last scatter shot is down. And now we still got. Look at these heroes, man. First of all, King and Queen still have all of their health. We're going to drop in the Royal Champion as well. We're going to start freezing this backside stuff. The multi, the air defense that was taking out the E Dragon. That's also going to keep the multi frozen for the Royal Champion to go ahead and get her damage done as well. That Grand Warden platform hits like a freaking train. So we're going to go ahead and if we had any freezes left, we'd be using them on that Grand Warden platform right there. RC's probably going to go down to. It, but look at this dude 
king and queen still with all their health because we dropped them after the electro dragons they're going to be able to finish out this triple no problem all right guys first step in this attack is going to be to look for some good blizzard value we're going to use the hound out in front to tank for the blimp you only really have to bring the hound if you need it for the blimp tanking other than that you don't need it for, to go in front of the electro dragons unless it's it's something that you really want to do but that, the hound is really only there to tank for the blimp if you don't need it to get the value you want then go ahead if you already got it cooked like in legends league then go ahead and use the hound to tank for the e-dragons but if i'm in war and i don't need the hound to get that blizzard value i'm not even going to bother bringing a hound i would bring another electro dragon now we got the town hall and a scatter shot taken down along with the whole quadrant of that base now we do kind of want to cut in some of this trash out here so we'll drop an e-dragon so it gets a nice fast chain get some nice early damage in and then look at these super minions man we're actually going to drop the rest of these electro dragons there and get some loons out in front to tank the super minions that way our e dragons can get off some chains and take those super minions out of that clan castle down we'll drop a funneling e dragon out here just kind of try and cut in the funnel a little bit keep the e dragons focused towards the core now we got the ice golem coming in with the heroes from the side now the heroes are going to face an uphill battle over here because the e dragons are lagging behind the heroes are actually going to have to do a bit of work here in the very beginning to go ahead and get this single taken out we're gonna probably need to pop this king ability or freeze this single again to keep the bk from dying way too early we can use that tanking towards the mid and end points of the attack if we can keep him alive long enough now we got e dragons coming in through to the core freezing an air defense on the backside. we'd really like to see that core taken out by those electro dragons and here we go man it's time to get this royal champion into this base man we've got some great tanking going on from the e dragons from the queen over there so we get the royal champion in there while she can still take advantage of some of that tanking now we have had to use all of our freezes up until this point so we're gonna have to try and place this this royal champion ability maybe get in some early damage in on this single target inferno we'll play it right there boom we opened up access to the single we got it down to a third of health left and the rc is going to be able to take it out even with zero free spells remaining as you can see guys we got more than enough troops heroes left to clean up this base in fact we're not even going to need the queen ability on this one if I can't see massive value to get with that blizzard, I'll usually default to trying to take out the town hall. That's going to take out the most devastating weapon in the base. First of all, it's going to create some nice pathing, and it's going to give you the freedom to play your Grand Warden ability whenever the heck you want to, instead of having to use it over the Town Hall to try and keep the majority of your troops alive. So, Town Hall is down. Other than that Town Hall, we got the majority of this base remaining. Now, the Super Wizards had already gotten pretty much all the value they were going to be able to get me from reaching right there, so I just go ahead and save those last two invisibility spells for later on in the attack. Now, unfortunately, on this one, we still have two sweepers remaining, so no matter where I go at, on this base we're gonna have to deal with those sweepers at some point i'm gonna let this electro dragon kind of complete this funnel for me drop another one out there and then we're just gonna be doing a full send right in here we'll go ahead and play the heroes up in this section that way hopefully they can cut out some of this trash up here and really push and force our e-dragons to go into the core of this base where they're gonna be able to face off with that eagle artillery they're gonna be able to face off with that single target inferno that's gonna be a challenge for my heroes and hopefully even have enough pathing to get in some early damage or maybe even take out this backside scatter shot now here we go man king is taking some heat early on oh i'm late on popping his ability i normally like to pop the bk ability when he's down to about half health unless he's coming into range of a single i'll pop it early to maybe uh, go ahead and keep him alive a little bit longer but here we go man we got the royal champion moving along with the other heroes while we had some nice tanking for her we got the grand warden ability pot for all those electro dragons in the core of the base the rc is locked onto by a single and the enemy king so i freeze the single i go ahead and use what i use the ability i used an invisibility spell i'm trying to keep this royal champion alive longer so maybe she can take out this backside single because if she can take out this backside single that would be a huge help to my remaining e dragons she's gonna go down to that enemy bk but look at my queen once again queen has full health and her ability if you guys are seeing a, a common theme on here it th that's it man the way you drop those heroes after the electro dragons causes your queen to stay alive and just like this one man e dragons are not going to be enough not with this air defense still up 
they're not enough to get this triple queen with her ability how many defenses do we even have left dude one two three four five six seven if we're counting mortars queen with ability is going to be able to take them all out if you asked her to and guys it's not even going to be an issue in fact i don't even have to pop her ability on this one all right guys here you go i told you at the beginning of the video i was going to show you war attack and i don't use e dragons in war that often but this was one of the last bases remaining i didn't have any choices of what i got to pick this was the one nobody wanted to deal with these multi-target infernos in the core of the base because they're very difficult to get to but i saw some amazing blizzard value on this one by using the hound to tank i'm able to get right next to the scatter shot and the town hall we're gonna get a sweeper taken out at the same time we got a good shot of taking out that enemy queen as well which can be huge for electro dragons we'll drop one more of those invisibility spells on them in the hopes they can get the queen taken out and the cc super minions as well sure enough queen is down cc super minions are down now we do have a problem we haven't cut in the whole funnel yet we still got a ring around the edge and i want to send my electro dragons all together into the base so i use one of my electro dragons with a loon in front to complete the funnel for me there we go once it gets this last building down we're going to have enough of a funnel to full send the rest of the electro dragons right here now if you look at them they can curve around and as long as we cut in the funnel over here with the heroes we can actually send them into the scatter shot and even into these multi-target infernos in the core of the base as well I didn't even notice this before, but that multi is on its last sliver of health due to the the, the chain damage from the super wizard. So that's going to come in handy. If one of my troops just breathes on it, it's going to be taken out. Now look at these freaking E-Dragons, man. Because of the Hound, they are drawn over. This scatter shot is just killing me. So I go ahead and pop that Grand Warden ability. That way the scatter shot doesn't have an opportunity to do massive damage to that whole pack of Electro Dragons. It's going to carry us through the scatter shot and into the core where this one really, even if it dies at this point, point it's death damage is going to take out the multi so i'm going to be okay with that now look at this man we've still got a royal champion we're going to go ahead and drop her alongside the other actually you know what i didn't drop her alongside the heroes on this one because we didn't have that much damage up here dude we had like three point defenses and a multi that nothing else was going to path to so i said you know what i'm using the royal champion up there on this one she's going to be solely responsible for going to get this multi-target inferno we might might have frozen it there if that unicorn is about ready to die but we didn't quite need to unfortunately the unicorn goes down to that giant bomb but since she took out that last multi-target inferno look at the heroes cleaning up the rest of this base dude and once again Again, we've got a queen full health nearly and her ability so even if we weren't out of defenses at this point we still had her ability to pop all right those multi-target infernos just didn't scare me with electro dragons all right they're fearsome they can do they can hit six different troops at once at town hall 14 but the superior hp of the e-dragons in my opinion makes them better suited to deal with multi-target infernos than even dragons guys enjoy the army it works really well on the right bases and i'll see you in the next video